Hey, Kentucky, welcome back. Time for a little game of fill in the blank. We have help today from pro tennis player John Millman. He's here for the Kentucky Bank Tennis Championships. We're going to chat more about that. John, good to see you. Thanks for having Played me. Played Nadal at Wimbledon. I yeah. have not done that, so I'm glad to have you. What's up first? Some big names are taking a pass on appearing at Kentucky's Fancy Farm Picnic next month, including the Governor and Secretary of State. Guys, this, ven this news is what? I just like his voice, to be yeah, honest. I want to like, be able to talk like know. that. Like, I mean, I, that's the first time Fancy Farm has ever been said like that. I've said the same thing. Last year, Bashir skipped it. You know what I said? He's a chicken. This year, Bevan and Allison Lundergan Grimes are, are skipping it. Chicken. Show up. It's the one political event people expect you to go to. Go to it. We've been. Yep, but sadly, it's a trend. Like you just said, it happened last year, happened again, it'll probably happen next time. Look, you and I sat on stage. I was the moderator once. I, but you show up. It's not that much to ask. They got good food. Don't be a wimp. What's next? The ACLU has filed suit to challenge Governor Bevan to stop people blocking, uh, to stop blocking people from following his social media accounts. Guys, this story is what? I just love this guy. He's great. Good Governor Bevan. Uh, it's, I, you know, I understand why they're doing it, but to me, this is a rarity. I'm on Bevan's side on this one. I think he should be able to block people who say nasty things to him. Why does, just because he's governor, he has to take that? I'm actually against the ACLU on this one. I'm with him. You're the governor. These people elected you. You're supposed to be taking their messages, even if they're bad. Unless it's real bad harassment. Maybe that. But, but, but I mean, the ACLU You shouldn't be saying, blocking your message from getting out to your state. But the ACLU saying they shouldn't, he shouldn't be able to block anybody. I just don't agree with that. Do you? I do. I mean, why is he, but right. some of the people haven't been bad. Small, critical right. critiques here well, and there. Who's next? A men's blog has named the Kentucky Bourbon Trail one of the top mancation destinations. Matt and Drew, this declaration is what? I'm actually going to defer to you on this one, Drew, because you've done a lot of these. We've got a radio show there actually next week at one of them. Do you like the Bourbon Trail? Oh, yeah. I've been to almost all the stops on the trail. I love it. I would recommend it to anyone. I've never heard of a mancation, but sure. <laughs> sounds like the perfect that's time. That's what they do in Australia. Okay. Yeah, that's where he came yeah, up with I didn't that call it that when I did it, but yes, it's an awesome time. Love all of them. I, they, the, first of all, the bourbon industry, I was when I was in Europe the last five weeks, as soon as you say Kentucky, people say Kentucky Fried Chicken and bourbon. Like, it's become maybe the thing that Kentucky's going to be known the most of in the world. So, yes, if you live here, go visit it. What's next? 11 days after replacing Trump spokesman Sean Spicer, Anthony Scaramucci has been ousted from his post. Matt and Drew, this latest White House shakeup is what? Well, it was needed, but this <laughs> dude... Uh, this guy, I mean, I mean 11, he got fired in 11 days. The interview he gave with The New Yorker, where he said a lot of things I'm not allowed to say on this show, that would have gotten you fired from almost any job. I wasn't sure he was going to get fired from this one. Only thing I'm upset about, Saturday Night Live didn't have a chance that parody. I know, this is so predictable. You just know that he, that guy's a Saturday Night Live character. I mean, we thought Spicer was good with Melissa McCarthy. This guy is Let just putting on this. a team. This dude in the last two weeks sold his business his wife divorced him, he missed the birth of his child for this job, and then 10 days later they let him go. Tough week. He needs that, a man that, I know He needs where he can go a man -cation. What's next? That is a tough week. <laughs> and last, former Kentucky All-American point guard Kyle Macy tried his hand at the Kentucky Bank Tennis Championship on Saturday, dropping a match to rising UK senior Trey Yates. Matt and Drew, this sports switch up was what? Very cool. Good for Kyle Macy. They played in the, this was a qualifier to the Challenger event. He lost 6-0, 6-0, but that's still, Kyle Macy can play tennis, played him. I think he was a coach of Moorhead State for a while. Good for you, Kyle. 60 years old, still getting it done. I don't like calling this a sports switch up. Kyle Macy's a tennis player. He's good I've tennis seen player. him play before. He's good. 6-0, 6-0. He ran into a younger athletic guy. That but happens. That's the thing. I mean, you Macy's can't play got a game. He's playing a dude rising in school, and guys like John, like, I played tennis in high school and was decent, but there's a difference between being decent and being bad and like that you know Kyle lost but that's all right now, speaking of that John tournaments going on when do you play I play tomorrow night yeah I'm looking forward to it uh, I was here two years ago and uh, have fond memories of, of Kentucky I love playing at the Boone Tennis Center and uh, yeah hopefully it, I can do some damage it's every day and night this week the match I'm gonna go to while you're watching this I'm there actually watching uh, Tom Jombie thank you very much for coming out we really appreciate it